Hey guys, it's Mickey C, and welcome back to Family Guy the Quest for Stuff. It is the 2016 Halloween event. It's finally here. Oh wait, no it's not. It's actually not here yet. It was supposed to be here, which is Thursday. It's Thursday night now, but for some reason they decided to take it off. Take it away. I don't know what the problem is, but clearly it's enough to they have to push it back just a little bit further. So maybe we'll get it tomorrow, which is Friday, or maybe we'll get it sometime next week. But I wanted to take this bit of a gap to release this video. The tan lines. I have it open already. Did you guys know about this district? Yeah, we've had it in the game for quite a while, quite a few months actually. And the problem with this district is that you actually have to get these currencies. That's not the biggest problem though. The biggest problem in this is that you have to fill up each floor with characters. And it has to be in order. Because you can't go with the bottom one which is the lobby and be like, Hey, let's skip a couple and go to the gourmet dining. It doesn't work that way. You have to go in order. So you have to go 15. Then you have to go up to the mezzanine. 15 to 15. Corporate center. And up and up and up. And then eventually you just get to the different currencies as you progress. And if you don't have enough characters, you just have to wait until you get more characters. But the way all this works is that when you get the currencies, you convert them for different types of currencies, and then you will be able to get certain items. Well, let me give you an example here. You can see green, blue, red, gold. And for the character that I need to get, I need 240 of the blue and three of the gold. Now you might be thinking, well, KC, you only have two of the gold. How does that work? You gotta do conversions. Let me show you something. You can notice the red one there where I have 13. You can see it will be one gold buck is 12. And so they have 13 of the red. When I tap it, there's my third one. So it's very, very simple to do, but it is very, very time consuming. It just takes a long time to eventually get all this out of the way. The character in question though, after all that rambling is the evil monkey. And the requirements for this were pretty nuts. 240 blue and then three of the gold. You might think three of the gold wasn't that bad, but it was really difficult to get the red fun bucks or whatever the heck they're actually called, Stewie bucks. I've been saying fun bucks an awful lot in different games lately. This is not that either. But with the gold one, as you saw, you needed 12 of the red, but the 12 of the red were really difficult to get. Like really difficult, so. You know what? I ended up getting everything in the end, which is just amazing. By the way, you'll notice the Paranormal Preview Mystery Box, which is a mystery box that is available pre before the actual Halloween event. I'll get to that in just a second, but I really wanted to get this evil monkey out of the way. So, let's do this, guys. Let us get the evil monkey. Okay, this is the way I like to do it. This is such an awkward item, too, because it's not like you're, like, inside a house. Like, where do you put something like this, you know? It's a very strange item to place. So, he's in there somewhere. Well, there he is. He just popped up. Let me zoom in a little bit. He's right there. So let's count down. Three, two, and one. Oh, hey, I'm actually coming to visit you in two weeks. The evil monkey... I also got 10 clams in the, pro in the process, Neil Goldman and the Evil Monkey. 10 clams if you get them both. Cool. So, by the way, you might be noticing, for people who are very familiar with my videos, for Family Guy, that this is actually not the resolution that I recorded on. This is actually being recorded on my tablet. Now, the problem with this is that I really wanted to get this video out to you, but the new Halloween update, pre-update, it's available on iOS, but it's not available on Android. I only record this on my computer because it's just easier for me to record it on there compared to a tablet and things of that nature. But the Android one is not available yet. And since I upgraded it on iOS, when I try to load up the game on Android, it says, you know, you need a new update. Go to the thing A, go to the App Store, but it's not available on the Google Play Store yet. So I can't really do anything. It just kind of hangs on the loading screen. So I decided to go on my tablet to get this recorded, so hopefully you guys are okay with that. Ooh, a lot of a lot of rambling in this video, aren't I? But let's go for the evil monkey. Let's see what he got for quests. Evil monkey, I haven't seen you in so long. Well, that's because I was traveling abroad. 
but now I'm happy to return home to Quahog. What did you visit? I was touring the closets of Europe. So much history. My favorites were the closets in Switzerland. They were filled with so much gorgeous stolen art. That's pretty funny. So, we're going to look at some of the particular items that he has. Scare Girls, which was with Chris, which is animated. Practice being evil, which is probably going to be a thing where he points and goes, Arr! probably. Hide in Chris's closet. Bare teeth. Point and stare. Get blazed. So there's not a lot of quests, but there is some. I think I know what the Practice Evil quest is going to be. So I think, let us do Scare Chris, because that one for sure is not one that I've seen before, at least that I can know of. Here we go. Oh, I don't wanna. Okay, oh, what the so. What are you doing? Oh, they're going over there. Oh, okay. I thought they were going to go by the closets. Where is he? Oh, it's funny. So he's, he's popping out of the ground and just scaring the living bejesus out of Chris. And now he's crying. Oh, no. He's on his back, by the way. He's got very strong lower body support. Let me say that again. Out of the way, you. Where is it? Yeah, that. Like, holy crap. That's quite the lower body leg support. Mm. So it doesn't appear that he has a voice that I can see. Which is... Fine, I think. I don't think he really had a voice in the show. Anyways, I think he did once or something, but I don't think it was like an official voice or anything, so for all intents and purposes, he doesn't actually have a voice. But let me see if there's anything else I can get with the new district here. We got Quagmire's Tiki Hut. That's kind of cool. Fire Creature, which I have already. Meg's Evil Monkey, which is 15 of the red, which is pretty tough. It's going to take a while to get that if I do decide to go for it. The Stewie Sphinx, which I got already from a previous update. Palm Tree as well. So, none of this stuff really catches my eye. And the Meg's Evil Monkey, it's just a decoration that's animated. So I don't care too much about that. So I guess I'm officially done with the new district, which is great. I do not want to look at this down below ever again. You, the daily quest for stuff. Yeah, but we're going to shift gears now. We're actually going to look at a Halloween box. A pre-box, which was, I don't think was even supposed to appear today, that I know of. But it is right there. Paranormal Preview Mystery Box. For 150 of the clams, you can get a bunch of different costumes and characters in the box. Now keep in mind, this is what I have remaining. There's a whole list of characters and costumes that you can actually obtain. And I maybe I'll see if I can put a list of it or something, if you care so much. I can go some of the fan sites or something, they always have those things as there as well. But I only have two characters. Super Devil, Maniac Pope, and I believe, I don't know if this is correct or not, this is just off the top of my head, but I want to say that the Maniac Pope was available for free, but it was super difficult to obtain, I think. If anybody plays any of the major events, at least the recent ones, you know that there's always prizes at the very, very end, and it's freaking difficult to obtain. Or maybe it costs clams, I don't even know. But, it costs clams now, 150, which is actually pretty reasonable. And, I do like the Maniac Pope a lot, but, you know, I really want to see what we're going to get in the X-Files update. Because I got 661 of the clams, by the way, in case people were wondering, Casey, how did you get your clams? I actually just played the game. Because now you can watch ads and get like seven a day or some crazy ridiculous thing. You can also get this thing down below by visiting a neighbor. You got at least one clam for that. And then just small things as well. Like if you do this thing here, which is a daily quest for stuff, you have a chance of getting a clam as well. Or you'll get currency for the new district. But I've gotten quite a few clams out of this as well. And then, for example, if you have, like, um, Jesus. Will you keep it down? Every day I have a chance of getting two clams a day with that, so it really, really does add up an awful lot. Well, geez, let us switch gears yet again back to the evil monkey. I always forget to show you guys this, the face face, which is when you get a new character unlocked, it does show this thing, and if you find him, somewhere here, where is he? Oh, he's there, I missed him. Right there. It has all this stuff here. I never rewound my blockbuster videos. Hashtag be unkind. I got the tags off all my mattresses. When he rushed for the elevator, I hit the close button. 
I don't wear socks when I rent bowling shoes. I drink straight from the carton when I have a cold. So clearly he's Mr. Mean. He will do anything he can because he's evil. Also, I don't know if you guys knew this or not. Probably. This has been the game for probably since day one. But when you click the X in the corner there after you've selected a character, look what happens. It will actually move to the particular character. Bet you didn't know that. You probably did, because it's been in the game since, I think, since the beginning of the, the game. All those years ago. Three years ago. Yeah. So anyways, I guess we are now officially done with the new district. I don't want to see... A big man in the sky knows what he's doing. Sorry, buddy. I don't want to ever see you ever again. I don't want to ever see these bucks ever again. I'm sick of it. No more. I'm done. Sayonara. Goodbye. Yeah. So anyways, if you guys are on the Evil Monkey, let me know where you're at in your process. If you guys are not there yet, well, now you know exactly what it takes. It's quite the grind. Like, ridiculously crazy of a, of a grind, sorry. And I actually would have had this done a lot sooner, but I actually stopped for quite a few months after I originally started. But the reason I stopped was because I didn't have enough characters to get to the particular red one which was at the top and it was really hindering my process so what I actually am doing was waiting because also we had all these major events and stuff and it was clashing with the characters so I didn't have enough characters to put on even if I wanted to so it was really just like I sat back I'm like I have to get more characters first before I can progress to get to that particular point and then when I did I started it up back up again and everything was quite the grind but I was able to finally get it so huh I'm so done I am so done Bring on Halloween, no more fun bucks. I'm going to continue to call it fun bucks from now on in every game that has bucks like this. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment, and share if you did. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey, and I will see you on whatever they thought is next in Family Guy, the quest for stuff. Probably Halloween. Bye-bye.